Tuesday morning, the 15th of March, 2011, and uh, uh, the postman has just been, and uh, I has brought me something that I was expecting but didn't realise had even been dispatched, uh, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about this, it's something I've been looking forward to taking a look at for, for some time now, um, and you can see it here in the shot, it is the integrity uh, from Dave's Devices. Uh, I've been sent this uh, free of charge to do the review uh, and I've really been looking forward to it arriving. It's the first um, uh, bottom fed mod that I, I've tried. Uh, Andy did a review I think in the very first VTTV show um, but it's the first time I've actually seen one in the flesh and got my hands on one. Um, um, it's no secret my uh, love of uh, e-cigs and mods that, that hold plenty of juice and the integrity comes with uh, these bottles which I believe are 6ml bottles uh, this is a spare one, there's already one fitted inside the mod itself um, so I've not done anything with this other than take it out the envelope so what I'm going to do now is uh, set it up and um, see if we can get it to work. The first thing I need to do is to um, take the back off uh, and the first thing I notice uh, as with my uh, Dave's Devices AA uh, box mod is that it's such a neat job inside, you know. Uh, there's no exposed wiring or anything, everything's sealed just in case you get a juice leak or anything like that. Um, it just looks beautifully put together as usual. Uh, very pleased with that. So we have to unscrew the bottle, cap like that. And I've just been getting a firm grip and pulling the top out like that. As you can see the tubing goes through the uh, drip top of the bottle uh, so make sure it gets the juice right from the bottom of the bottle which is good. So I have some uh, homemade juice um, which is a PG VG RY4 and a fairly big syringe there we go Now this is the first time that I've done this so I'm going to be extra specially careful <laughs> um, but clearly the tube goes back into the bottle like that and snaps in you then tighten up tighten up the top and push that back into place and it's put together in such a way that the tube curls up and basically gets itself out of the way as you do it. That's you know it's very carefully worked out. I think that um, the bottle sits in there nice and snug, good and tight, which is good. Um, I just uh, point out there on the camera that what happens as the juice goes up through the tube uh, disappears into some more sealing. There looks really well uh, put together. Uh, and you might just be able to make out that there's a small needle protruding from the atomizer connector which is where the how the juice finds its way into the atomizer so I think probably the next best the next thing we need to do is 
if it's an atomizer. So this is a brand new atomizer. Uh, it's a low resistance or medium resistance, as I like to call them, two ohm five ten atomizer. Two ohm atomizer, which screws onto the top of the integrity. And now, by squeezing the bottle, we should get some juice travelling up the tube, which I can see is happening into the atomizer. Now, I've never used a bottom fed juice mod before, so I've no idea how much of this I need to do. Um, but let's find out how badly I flooded that. And of course the uh, thing that's missing now is the battery. So I'm going to put in uh, a nice big 18650 battery. In you go. Yeah. Uh, everything fits snugly. There's nothing rattling there or anything. I mean it, it is very well put together. It really is. I snap the back back on and that should work and we have a, a switch on the bottom on and off so we make sure that's switched on and uh, hopefully we should hear something and we can see something too so we've got sizzling We've got red lights, <laughs> that's brilliant. So one thing I will be needing of course is a drip tip. And there we go, there's our integrity, ready to use. Let's give it a go. Okay, well that was the first drag and that has, I haven't got enough juice on there yet. So uh, I'm going to have to practice a little bit with this. Uh, as you can see, I've got some juice to the uh, to the atomizer that time. And I just noticed there that the LED changed from red to green. And then blue, wasn't it? <laughs> so happens if I carry on holding it. Orange, yellow, oh blimey. I need to practice, I think, with how much, uh, how hard to squeeze the bottle and how often to make sure I just get the optimum amount of juice onto the atomizer. Uh, Genesis.me.uk is his uh, website address. Um, this thing has some other features. Um, I'm just going to get some cables and things and I shall show you. This is a juice fed box mod which is um, apparent and not that unusual. There's a lot of people making these these days. Um, this one however has a couple of extra features which um, are, to my mind, uh, they, they set it apart a bit from some of the others. Uh, I, I won't bang on about the quality of it and everything. It, it's solidly made, it works. But one of the things that make this uh, good value for money, in my opinion, are the fact that it also works as a pass-through. Um, so I'm using a standard mini USB connector here. It's actually the one that I'm going to use to download the footage from this camera in a short while. Uh, a really good tight fit into, into the box. Um, you know, I mean it's solid, that is. It, it's really well put together. There's no flimsiness about it like you get with some of the uh, uh, USB uh, e-cig fittings and, and mods out there. Um, 
it, it, it's rock solid, you know, and um, it's fantastic. So I'm now using this as a pass through. And the other little bonus is that while it's connected like that, it's also charging the battery. So that's the Integrity, the 18650 version uh, from Dave's Devices. Um, and my first impressions, uh, which are good, uh, are going to be putting this through its paces during the coming week and I'll be reporting back on my show on Sunday, which is where you're seeing this. It's Friday afternoon and I had planned to do a daily update, like a little diary across the week of using this and getting used to it and seeing what I thought and what I liked and what I didn't like. Uh, that unfortunately didn't happen, mostly because of work. But hey ho, um, as I say, it is Friday. I've now been using this for just about three and a bit days and, uh, and I'm liking it very much. A uh, couple of things I've learned along the way. Um, I uh, fetched the uh, sort of instructions, the user guide manual thing off uh, Dave's, uh, Dave's Devices website at genesis.me.uk um, and that had a couple of tips in there and I re-watched Andy Sutton's uh, initial uh, review of it from our very first show um, and that taught me a bit because there is a little bit of a learning curve associated with this. I kind of thought that you know uh, it would be very similar to the vape mate and in some ways it is. You squeeze in a bottle to get juice onto the atomizer but the whole concept of bottom feeding is, is works very differently to top feeding um, I'm not I don't really have an opinion whether it's better or worse uh, but it is definitely different so the first thing I learned and, and I, I had to figure this one out for myself uh, was that the atomizer that you saw me putting on in the first VT clip uh, in part one um, was uh, not ideal for this device is probably the best way to put it there's something about the way it's constructed that means that the juice doesn't push far enough up inside the atomizer to the coil um, I've tried it um, um, a number of different atomizers on it now and it seems that those two ohm atomizers those those e-smell ones there's something different about the way they're constructed I tried a couple of them on there and what I was finding was that uh, it would taste dry it would taste burnt so you apply more pressure put more juice in to the point that you were getting a bit of a mess everywhere and it was flooded and then you go straight from vaping off that excess to dry again there was no sort of happy medium so as soon as I started swapping uh, atomizers around uh, I found that it improved greatly so I am um, settled on this I don't know what it is some generic low resistance 510 atomizer uh, it's got some writing on it which I can't write make out but it's an LR um, and uh, but it could equally e easily be any of the uh, the other 510s I tried I tried a Cisco 510 I tried a couple of Titan you know the totally wicked ones um, and uh, the ones that came on the uh, the Bosch Q510 kit that I tried the other day and they all worked fine so it's obviously something weird about those two ohm atomizers like I say I tried a couple and I uh, didn't have much joy. Um, the, the, the other thing that I've learned, and I got this uh, again, as I say, from, from watching Andy's video again, and also from the instructions are, are on the Dave's Devices site, is, uh, is how to apply the right amount of juice. Obviously, you apply the juice by squeezing the bottle. Uh, which all sounds very simple but you've got to get it just right and it takes some practice the first day or two I was uh, partly because of the atomizer but partly because it's a case of getting to learn just how hard you've got to press it I was either getting not enough or too much juice, juice on, on, on the atomizer so um, um, I, just, uh, I, I think Andy showed this as well in fact I'm sure he did but I'm going to do it anyway because I, it, I think it's the key to use in this. The trick is to apply pressure which I'm currently doing with my finger to the coil 
uh, to the bottle until the juice just starts to appear at the bottom of the atomizer. You may be able to pick that up on camera. And once you start seeing the juice sort of starting to ooze out from the bottom of the atomizer, then you release the pressure. I'll just do it again and make sure we get it on camera. So you squeeze until the juice just starts to appear. You can see it there at the bottom and you let go and uh, basically uh, the, the uh, release in the bottle will suck down the excess. So that should have applied enough juice to the atomizer there without uh, to make it a very nice vape but without um, without getting juice everywhere and flooding it and making it too gurgly. Although it is a bit gurgly, generally speaking, I find. So on the whole, um, I'm finding it a very nice device. I've used it pretty much exclusively in the three and a bit days I've been using it, this, this being day four. Um, I'm going to try and get another update in uh, before I um, before I show you this on Sunday night as part of my show. Uh, and I'll obviously be uh, adding some comments at that time as well. Uh, but hopefully um, I'll get another update in between now and then, at least one. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, next week, so that'll be after the broadcast. Uh, but I'm intending to uh, take this with me. I've got quite a few miles to drive next week and uh, I think it might be up to it. I'm going to take the GGTS and the AVS along with me as well and I'm going to compare the two because I'm going to be staying in hotels a bit and stuff next week and let's see which one is the most practical. Um, uh, at the moment I can see strengths and weaknesses in both uh, but it's far too early to preempt on either device yet. But uh, you can see what's coming in the future episode. Uh, anyway, that was part two. Uh, hopefully there'll be a part three. See you soon. Well, Saturday lunchtime, I've uh, been out shopping this morning and this afternoon I go to a football match. So I thought I'd take the opportunity, while well, I've got a few minutes, just to give you a quick update on this. Um, even since yesterday I've got more familiar with it. And I'm finding now that I can top up the Atty with just a quick glance without even looking at all and I'm finding what I'm doing is I'm topping it up more often and less it's very easy to do um, it couldn't really be much easier you just press this with your thumb oh, I'm using my thumb And I'm finding just a quick press like that every few minutes gives you a few drags. I'm running out of things to say about this. It just does what it says. Which, whilst that's really good to say about the device, doesn't make for a hugely interesting review. Oh well, I'll think of something between now and tomorrow night. Still working.
Okay. Still working. Still working.